Hi, I'm Yusufa, and in this video, let's talk about Chainlink. So, the end of 2018, not a great year for many projects. Many projects died or shriveled over the lengthy crypto season of December 2018, yet Chainlink managed to develop and even defy the gloomy market. So how did Chainlink manage to develop during a time when the crypto market was crashing and stagnating? While cryptocurrency and blockchain technologies have emerged from the shadows of uncertainty and into the public eye. The emergence of new forms of crypto assets as well as ongoing innovations in the crypto field such as DeFi and NFT have enhanced crypto's reputation. Chainlink, on the other hand, has become a household brand as one of the fundamental components for blockchain applications. But how? Well, let's take a look. So Chainlink is a decentralized Oracle network that feeds a stream of data to smart contracts running on several blockchains. So then what is its goal? Well, its goal is to make smart contracts even more powerful by allowing them to use variable data from other sources. The blockchain's inability to retrieve trustworthy information from the real world was meant to be solved by this Oracle network, which was expected to tackle one of the main obstacles to the practical implementation of smart contracts. So let's take a step back. Let's talk about smart contracts. So a smart contract, like any other contract, defines the condition of a deal. However, unlike a typical contract, the rules of a smart contract are carried out as a code on a network like Ethereum. So smart contracts let developers create apps that reap the benefits of blockchain security, dependability, and usability while providing complex peer-to-peer -peer functionality. Now, in the context of blockchain and decentralized finance, smart contracts have become more important. Their implementation contributes to the primary goal of Bitcoin and other decentralized networks. Smart contracts enable users to conduct safe peer-to-peer -peer or P2P transactions and without the need for middlemen like banks or governments. Now, there is no native blockchain in Chainlink. Instead, it connects to numerous blockchains at the same time, supplying them with current data feeds. It functions as both an Oracle and an Oracle aggregator. Chainlink acquires data from a variety of sources and transmits it straight to blockchains. And if you're a data supplier, you only want to supply reliable data because if you have a low reputation score, it will end in your withdrawal from the platform. So then how does Chainlink actually work? Well, although traditional oracles are centralized, Chainlink uses hybrid smart contracts to decentralize the process of transferring data on and off blockchains. Oracles give the Web 3.0 ecosystem a method to connect to existing data sources, legacy systems, and sophistic calculations. Decentralized Oracle networks enable the implementation of hybrid smart contracts in which on-chain code and off-chain infrastructure are coupled to provide complex decentralized applications that respond to real-world events and interact with traditional systems. All right, so then let's talk about the process. So for step one, Chainlink customers must first create a service level agreement or an SLA that outlines a set of desirable data criteria. The program then matches the user with oracles that can give the data using the SLA. And after establishing the settings, the user uploads the SLA and invests their link cryptocurrency in an order matching contract that takes Oracle bids. So then over to step two, which is data reporting. So this is where the oracles link to external sources and get the actual data that the SLA requires. The oracles then process the data before sending it back to Chainlink blockchain contracts. Now, the final step is to add up the data oracles collection findings and return them to an aggregation contract. 
The aggregation contract collects the replies and evaluates their validity and gives the user a weighted score based on the total of all of the data received. Chainlink encourages a wide audience to operate nodes on the network and compensates them with its native link currency because it is a decentralized and open source network. The node operators allow the Oracle network to provide information like price data to blockchains. Data requests will be handled by several nodes, which will make contact with real world data sources easier. They return to the Chainlink aggregating contract to compare replies after they have the appropriate data. By averaging replies, the optimal balance of reliable information is achieved. The Chainlink nodes are responsible for safeguarding and verifying transactions. These funds are exchanged on DeFi applications and they are crucial for giving data that are updated every second. Also, Chainlink's collaboration with Google allows Ethereum blockchain engineers to obtain access to vast volumes of data. Now, the Chainlink network employs an ERC-677 token, which is based on the ERC-20 token standard and allows for data payloads in token transactions. It's also used to pay data providers that bring and convert data onto the blockchain and are compensated by the data buyer. When data suppliers or oracles submit bids, they set the cost for their services. So is there a future for Chainlink? Well, hey, we are no financial advisors, nor can we predict the future prices of Link. I mean, we wish. But the dispersion of data sources and oracles are two major objectives for ensuring security on the Chainlink network. Chainlink, like other networks, aspires to grow by adding more users and operators to increase the network effects and become more resilient and useful. What the future holds cannot be known. Well, what are your thoughts on Chainlink and the Link token? Drop them down in the comments below and let's have a little chat. Now, if you'd like to stay updated to all things crypto, make sure you click that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, and also follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook for all the latest crypto updates. See ya.